Okay. Matt, how did, how did the scrimmage go Saturday? Uh, I thought it went good. I thought uh, the offense for the first half of the scrimmage really executed very, very well, and that was good to see. Um, I just thought defensively we had some opportunities to get all, off the field on third down, so that was a point of emphasis today. We just got down with a, a third down scrimmage, uh, which the defense was a little bit better, but I think that was the point of emphasis is if you have a chance to get off the field, let's do it. Uh, but I, I did think the offense was clicking early. How are you health-wise right now? Uh, we had some injuries. Um, you know, DeMarcus Lodge sprained his ankle and got tackled from behind. He sprained his ankle. I think it's probably going to be about another week. Uh, but I do expect him to have him back full go. I don't think it was a, you know, it means sprained ankles are serious. But I think I don't think it's a four or five week. I think it's a couple, couple of weeks. Uh, Sincere David sprained the MCL. I think he's probably two weeks away. And then we had um, Kim Webster sprained uh, his, uh, his hamstring pulled. So I think he, uh, I think he'll be out maybe a week or so, trying to be. So we got, we got, uh, you know, that that happened. So those are the three main injuries coming out of the scrimmage. What's just AJ's like, uh, status? Uh, I think he's, he's starting to run. He's getting close. So I'd say we would have him probably toward the end of this week. He'll be ready to go. Didn't see Vernon Dasher out there today. Yeah, he had a little groin, little groin pull yesterday. So he's in, he was inside today, just trying to get it back healthy. But I think he'll be good to go here. Um, uh, Javian, same. He's very similar to AJ as far as the hamstring. Just he, he's coming along, starting to run. I think we'll have Javian and AJ back by the end of the week. Looked like a couple of the young linebackers were maybe three of them actually are really starting to move up in the terms of the quote depth chart end quote. Yeah, coming out of the scrimmage, uh, Kamonte Ruggs probably performed the best of any linebacker um, uh, out of everybody. So he can run around and he can uh, he can hit. He, he performed really really well. Uh, make some mistakes in there as, as to be expected, but uh, runs around and hits. So I think uh, he's a guy that I think you're, you're going to see play for sure on special teams and obviously have a role uh, on defense. Is that a little disappointing, though? I mean, uh, well, uh, you know, I think you always want guys to step up that are older, but if a freshman goes in there and competes and plays at the speed you want them to play, I think it's a good thing. I'm not looking at it as a negative, I'm looking at it as a positive of a young kid, you know, really, really getting after it. Does it ever get to a point where you have to maybe think about you simplify some things a little, at least a little early, to get the better players on yeah, the field? Yeah, I'm big on that. You know, I think uh, when you when you sign and recruit good players, you want to let them play, and the and the less amount of thinking they can do, uh, the better. But I think having an older guy out there, maybe with him to help get him lined up, will help with some of that. So, so where does Zachary? I mean, he's getting a lot. Some yeah, you know, I think I think Zai is very very physical. He doesn't mind stepping up and hitting you. He brings that. Uh, part to the table, and I think he's doing a good job. Just again, just playing fast all the time. I think that that's where kind of Rugs kind of separated himself a little bit. What does Zai do for you in space? Can he play there if he has to? You know what? I, that's not his strong point for yeah. sure. You know, his strong point. He, he's very, very physical. He's a great kid, hard worker, uh, and and so I think he will provide some value for sure. But that's that's not his strong point. What's the latest you're seeing from the running backs? Good, you know, Scotty hit a hit a big one on Saturday in the scrimmage. Uh, you know, it, there's a, there's a really good competition going right there. They're making each other better. So really like the competition and the physicality they're running with. Looks like you had Kadir running with the ones. Where's that position battle? Yeah, I mean, I think um, it's fluid. They've been moving around. You know, Ross and Benito. Uh, Kadir, I mean, but, he, but Kadir flashed in the scrimmage. He did some really, really good things. Um, he was probably our best pass rusher in the scrimmage, just as far as speed off the edge. Me looking at it as an offensive line coach, he played at a different speed coming off the edge. So uh, that's why he got moved up. Where's Tariq in his development right now? Who's that now? Tariq Tisdale. Oh, Tariq is, yeah, I got you. Okay, yeah. uh, good. Just yeah. um, maybe. Just learning the speed of the game, you know, coming from junior college to the SEC, but he shows some flashes. He's a guy that's going to help us for sure. So you kind of feeling better about your depth there? I feel better about the depth. I just want to see somebody separate themselves and be a clear cut number one instead of the all the back and forth. But that's that's what competition's doing. But we do have more depth for sure. It looked like Matt, you were using more people at the end. It looked like Austrian bounced out there today and, and uh, Josiah a little bit. Yep. You know, what's what's going well, on? Well, you know, some of when we when we when we play our three down front, yeah. we have some of our D tackles that are playing D ends, but it's really a D tackle spot. So Just but Austrian those guys primarily. Yeah, but but again we use that package some in Mississippi yeah. State where we play some bigger bodies up front and play man to man to help us in the run game. 
Austrian still primarily on the inside? He is. Yeah. You know, some four eye and three technique. He's doing a good job. I know it's only the second full week of, of camp. Is there what's the biggest thing you've learned? Does anything surprise you? And kind of no, I, I think the, the biggest thing I'm, I'm balancing is trying to get, um, get, get our work in, be more physical, be tougher, stop the run, run the ball better, and then balance injuries. You know, so I think that's the that's the thing I have to balance is when to when to go and, and work and then when to pull back and, and get ourselves healthy. So that I think that's the, been the balance that uh, that we're working on. Thank you. Anyone Thanks. else surprise you in the scrimmage? Uh, Elijah Moore showed up. Uh, really, he's probably the talk after the of all the fans and everybody because he made several several plays in space. So Elijah Moore, Tyler Knight had a big run. So those two freshmen along with Cavante Ruggs, showed some things. Keydron Smith is playing really well with the twos right now. So those four freshmen stepping up have been really impressive. Do you guys still plan to use A.J. at punt return? Or would it be some of those freshmen? You know what, with him being out, we've yeah. got a lot of reps um, with, with the other guys. But I, I, don't, I don't have that answer yet. We'll, when, when A.J. comes back, we'll, we'll determine that. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thanks, sir.